Hey there, I am Amanda Blackwell and I'm here with Corey McElyay, golfer for USF. Corey, how's it going? Fantastic, could be better. Awesome, well, so let's jump right into it. You had a chance to play in the US Open this summer after qualifying in a playoff. What was that like for you? Uh, pretty crazy. Um, the, the qualifier itself was really hectic. Um, it was a two-man playoff or a three-man playoff for two spots. Um, I was competing against Max Homa, who plays for Cal. Um, and just getting to the playoff was pretty insane. Um, but yeah, getting through that playoff was, was crazy. And once I got there, it was uh, quite the experience. Cool. Do you have a favorite moment or cool story from the U.S. Open that you can share? I think uh, playing the practice round with Webb Simpson was really fun. I have an old buddy um, from the University of Washington, Chris Williams, who I uh, was able to play with alongside uh, Webb Simpson, who was a defending champion. Uh, was really fun, and also making a birdie in my second round was uh, was an added bonus. And uh, you just recently won the California State Amateur. What was that like for you? It was crazy. I uh, I got back uh, late Sunday night from the U.S. Open, and then I got up around 7 a.m. Monday morning and uh, went straight to Monterey for the first round of stroke play at uh, Monterey Peninsula. But uh, the tournament itself, it was it was a little um, a little dodgy in the beginning. I got off to a bad start, but then brought it around in stroke play and then played great match play. We've been talking about all these tournaments you've been playing and all these events. Have you gotten to relax at all this summer? Yeah, actually, after uh, the U.S. Open and then the California State Am, um, I took a good two days off of literally just sleeping. Uh, just <laughs> just hanging out on, on my bed for a while was uh, what I needed because I was just so emotionally and physically drained from those two tournaments that uh, having that time by myself was uh, was definitely something I needed. Do you have a favorite golfer that you really liked watching, watching uh, growing up? Well, I think the obvious one is Tiger. Uh, that's part of the reason why I got into it, watching him when I was younger. Uh, it was just... It was incredible to see what he did um, in the early, earlier 2000s. Um, that's really when I got started. So, uh, yeah, any time watching him play even now is uh, really entertaining. What's the coolest thing you've ever done on a golf course? You know, hole-in-one, any kind of cool trick shot, anything like that? Um, that's a great question. Uh, oh, uh, my first hole-in-one when I was 17 years old uh, was a double eagle on a par four. So it was like a 270-yard par four. I hold it out with three wood, so that was pretty entertaining. Impressive. <laughs> All right, so you started at the University of Washington, and you transferred to USF. Um, what, what was the decision in coming to USF? I just wanted to change the scenery. Uh, being closer to home is, is something that's really important to me. I love the family time I have here in Santa Cruz, and uh, being closer to my brother as well, who's been my caddy for quite some time, uh, being around... Uh, a good support system is really important for me, and uh, it's just something I needed, just something comfortable. What's that like having your brother as a caddy? Is it is it troubling at all? Is it tricky to navigate it, that relationship? It, it's been troubling before, but I think we've we both matured so much now that it's become a really good relationship between us. We understand each other, and um, we enjoy each other's company a lot more than we used to, I think. What's the best piece of advice he's ever given you, if you can come up with that? That's a tough one. Uh, I think I think having fun is by far the best advice he's ever given me because off the golf course, I'm a, I, I like to have fun and I like to let loose. Uh, but when it comes to being on the golf course, a little bit, I get a little bit too intense sometimes. So he's always reminding me to have, have a good time and always smile. So uh, just that little bit of advice has been uh, a big help for me. What's your favorite thing about the University of San Francisco? I like the fact that it's uh, it's it's smaller and uh, you have that intimate relationship with um, uh, with your teachers and also also with a smaller team as well. There's only seven or eight of us now uh, so being so close to both um, your classmates and your teachers and your coach and um, your teammates, it's just, uh, it's a different experience that I hadn't really had since high school, so it was uh, something I needed and something I really like about SF. Growing up in Santa Cruz, did you do any beach sports, surfing, anything like that? 
Yeah, uh, I really didn't get into surfing uh, that much. I mean, I love going to the beach, and I love having a good time with my friends when I'm at the, when I'm at the beach. But, uh, no, my dad always tried to push me to get into surfing and uh, play volleyball. He was a competitive competitive uh, beach volleyball player for a while, and cool. he always tried to push me into it, but somehow uh, <laughs> I went down the, the golf stream. This is a true or false question. True or false, Caddyshack is the greatest sports movie ever made. Absolutely true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Easy. Simple enough. Yeah. Well, Corey, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck with the rest of your summer, and um, you've been doing a lot of great things this summer. Thanks a lot, Amanda. I appreciate it. Thanks.